In this problem, we're given a solution to a differential equation, y equals c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x. And this is a solution to this differential equation here, y double prime minus y equals 0. And the question is asking us to find a particular solution. In other words, there are infinitely many solutions here, right, because c1 and c2 can vary. So what we have to do in this problem is find a particular solution. In particular, we want to find the solution that satisfies these two initial conditions. That's what these are called, initial conditions. The first condition is saying that the graph of the solution passes through 0, 0. And the second condition is saying that the slope is equal to 7. So kind of interesting. Anyways, to do this problem, all you have to do is start by taking the derivative of your solution. So y prime. So here the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And the derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put the negative here. That comes from the chain rule. OK, now all we have to do is use our initial conditions. Let's use the first condition first. So we have to use it on y. So y of 0 is equal to, let's see, c1 e to the 0 plus c2 e to the 0, right, negative 0. And that's equal to 0. So we have c1 plus c2 equal to 0, right, because e to the 0 is 1. All right, let's use our other condition, this one here. This one applies to the derivative. So y prime of 0 is equal to c1 e to the 0 minus c2 e to the 0, doing it here. And that's equal to the number 7. e to the 0 is 1, so we get c1 minus c2 equals 7. All right, looks like we have two equations. So what we can do is we can write them together and solve them. So we have c1 plus c2 equals 0, and c1 minus c2 equals 7. If you just add these, looks like you just get c1 plus c1, so you get 2c1, and that's equal to 7. So dividing by 2 will give us c1 equals 7 halves. Good stuff. Well, if c1 is 7 halves, when you plug it in here, you get 7 halves plus c2. And that's equal to 0. So c2 is equal to negative 7 halves. So we have our c1 and c2. So all we do now is plug them back in. So our final answer will be uh, 7 halves e to the x minus 7 halves e to the negative x. And that would be the final answer. So basically, if you, if you solve this differential equation using some, some math, you get this, right? And then there's infinitely many solutions. And so these conditions allow you to pick a solution from this infinite family of solutions. That's why this is called a particular solution. And we basically pick the solution that passes through 0, 0. That's what this condition means and that has slope 7. It's kind of an interesting uh, concept. But to actually do the problem, all you do is you take the derivative and then just use these conditions to solve for your c's. And at the very end, you just go back and plug them in. I hope this video has been helpful.